would you bring that here? I thought it might um, jog your memory. So, I got to ask you again, Patrick. Why did you kill them? It was self-defense. How many times do I have to tell you this? I see. All right, Patrick. Walk me through it again. What happened yesterday? It started out pretty normal. I was riding my bike through the neighborhood. No way, man. That's bullshit. No. Come on. Hear me no, out. No, that's BS. I saw him. Look, you're just trying to freak me out. I mean, Halloween's coming up, and you know I freak out easily at this Seriously? Stuff. Why would I lie about this? I don't know. Maybe you just took a spill on your bike, and are too Mitchell? I saw the Caulfield killer. He was wearing that bunny mask. He knocked me out. Look, feel the bump on the back of my no, head. No, I'm not touching your nasty ass head. Fine. Can I at least read his note? Fine. I think he knows who I am. I think he might be coming for me right now. Oh, sh Jesus <laughs> Christ! I thought you were Caulfield. So you do believe me? No. Hey, Casey. Did I scare you? Hey, Casey. No, I just had something in my eye. What? Tell me what you saw. Okay, so as I was telling Mitchell before, I saw the- Your text said that you saw the Caulfield killer? Yeah, he was wearing the bunny mask and everything. Okay, you can pick up one of those bunny masks at any Halloween store. And the police arrested the Caulfield killer like 20 years ago. Allegedly. No, they arrested him and put him in jail. The courts decided that that was the killer? Well, let's just say if, and I'm just saying if, I'm not saying this is true, but if you saw somebody in the woods, it was probably just some guy messing with you. Yeah, because people knock other people out and leave them threatening notes for fun. <laughs> there are some crazy people out there. Well, I'm just trying to find a logical explanation. I wonder if anyone else has seen him. You said he left a note. Yeah. He said that if I come back, he'll kill her? Mm. Who's her? Well, I pulled it up on Google. Jared Nedlow. Popularly known as the Caulfield Killer, preyed on the people of Caulfield, Kansas, was taken into custody spring of 1993. He was tried and convicted of 14 counts of murder, blah, 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 brutal murderer. Okay. It says that he kidnapped a little girl and they never found the remains, but um, it looks like no other children were involved, so. Well, great. Only one child murder. At least we don't have a complete psychopath on our hands. It didn't say that she died. That might be the her from the note. And it didn't say that he escaped prison, so... Well, then we got a copycat. Or they never found the real killer. Anyone up for an adventure? No! I hate both of you. You didn't have to come. Oh, some guy tried to kill me. Well, let's go find him. Yeah, that's a great idea. 
great idea. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's where my bike is. So you think he's close by? Like he lives out here or something? I don't know. What? You should go back. I mean, he left a note telling us not to come here, right? What do you want? Me? He wants me, Pat. What do you want with her? Huh? He wants to kill her! What are you doing? If I don't go with him, he's gonna kill Mitchell. Get back here. Let go of me. He's not gonna hurt me. How do you know that? I don't. But if I don't go with him now, then... Trust me, we have a better chance of making it out alive if I go with them now. Follow me and we'll figure it out from there. Don't hurt her! through the forest. Patrick, we need to call the cops and let them handle this. You owe your life to Casey. We don't have time to talk with the cops. Yeah, let me just sprint off into the darkness and go where there's killers on the loose. Perfect. Hi, my name is Mitchell Allens, and my friend Casey was just kidnapped by a guy in a bunny mask. Happy Halloween, sir. No, no, it just happened on Rose Street. You have to send help right away. Is that where you are right now? I'm in the woods, and we're trying to follow the guy in the bunny mask. We're sending a unit. Stay where you are. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, Casey? The police are on their way. Building E. What? Building E. Casey just sent me this text. The police said to stay put. Building E. He's taking her to the school. It, it's probably just the guy in the mask messing with you to throw you off. I have to get her. Pat! Patrick, listen to me, man. Let's go downstairs. You go down that way, I'll go down to another level. Patrick, listen! Look, if we split up, we can cover twice as much ground. Nope. Patrick. What? This is real life, man, okay? We aren't splitting up. That's what stupid teenagers do in horror movies. All right? We're two completely logical college students, and we can't take on a murderer by ourselves. So we just need to 
wait for the cops to arrive and just chill out. Okay? Okay. You're right. Thank you. All right, I'll call the cops and make sure they know where she is. Casey! running home. Patrick, you can't just leave your friend like that. Fine, if you're not going to save your friend, I will. Hey, see? Casey, what is this? It took us a long time to get you here. But here you are. Casey? You're gonna be really excited when you hear the plan, I promise. We have chosen you to be the father of a new age. I was once that father, but I didn't do it right. There needed to be a stronger family. Stronger unit. I took Casey when she was very young. But I realize now that she couldn't do it alone. What is this? Chaos, Patrick. Chaos. The agent of change. When you set a firecracker off in an anthole, the colony scatters. Chaos. The beauty from afar is astounding. colony will become stronger. They will build better homes. They will make better decisions, create a better society. We are the firecracker, Patrick. You and Casey will be the father and mother of a new age. You will create a strong family. Every single child will be an agent of change. You will multiply like bunnies. Soon, the whole world will be infected. But it all starts with you. And you too, of course. Well, I'll go clean up the mess I made in the elevator. But you two, I expect grandchildren in nine months. Yes, Daddy.
were with him the whole time? Don't worry. We're going to be a part of something that will change the world. What's wrong? Don't you like me? I chose you because you like me. No. Casey, I like you. I really do. And I always thought you would be a good mom, so... I wish I believed you. What? You think I'm stupid? No, kid. I never said you were stupid. I just I thought that if- Shut up! to escape. Cut it off. All of it. Cut it off. kneecaps off and do it myself. What did you do? Don't move any closer. from the beginning. It was always supposed to be me. That whole day was a performance to lure me into their sick plans, their sick future. They killed Mitch, and everything I did was in self-defense. You know, I think you really do believe this shit you're telling me. It's all true, officer. I don't know what more you want me to say. It doesn't add up, Pat. Look, why would they go to such trouble to put on some kind of show to lure you into an abandoned school? Why wouldn't the Caulfield killer just kidnap you that day that he knocked you out in the woods? Would have saved on all the theatrics, wouldn't it? Maybe. But you can never quite know the mind of a killer. Yeah. That's why I can't quite understand you, Pat. I don't know. Maybe you are as insane as everyone's saying. Could be true. It's a hell of a story, Pat. It really is. Unfortunately, it doesn't match the facts that we have. Yeah. Our evidence, right? You say that Caulfield killed Mitchell in the elevator, right? And that you accidentally shot your friend Casey, yeah? And then you confronted the Caulfield killer and you shot him three times. That's correct. So that's three bodies, right? Yes, sir. That's my problem, Pat. 
we get to the crime scene, there's only two bodies. That's impossible. Well, we got Mitchell in the elevator, no? All cut up, gutted, bloody. It's a brutal murder. Terrible stuff, Pat. And then we got Casey shot in the stomach, just like your story. Yeah? But no call field. How? Well, you tell me. Caulfield got away from the scene without a scratch. What? He, yeah. You want to know what I think? I think I'm looking at the new Caulfield killer right here, right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe you are as schizo as everybody's been saying. I, I just had no idea how bad it was. You see, Pat, back in 1993, we arrested your father. He did some terrible things, some truly horrible things. You were just a kid, but I can see now just how badly it affected you. You want to know what I think happened? I think that yesterday you just forgot to take your meds. Hey, it happens. You forgot to take your meds, and then you assumed your alter ego, the ego of your father. And then you kidnapped Casey, the girl you were crushing on. Yeah, didn't mean much harm at first. But what you didn't know was that your best friend Mitchell liked her also. And so he followed you. Yeah, Mitchell followed you and he called the cops when he found out where you took her. The kid ruined your plans. So you killed him in the elevator. You, you killed him in the elevator. See, it's all coming back to you now, isn't it? You went back to see Casey, and when you got there, she was trying to escape. Well, you didn't like that. Oh, no, sir, you didn't like that at all. She tried to reason with you, but you knew that she was never going to love you. So you shot her in the stomach. The old classic, if I can't have her, then nobody gets her. Right out of the jealous killer's handbook. Yeah? Yeah, now you're getting it. Now you remember. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? You see, Pat, when we found you, you were wearing this. And you were crying like a baby. Hey, come on. Don't let it get you down. We all have those days, right? Those days when we wake up and go a little crazy and kidnap and kill our best friends. Oh wait, no we don't. That's just you. It's a good story though. I liked it. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll be a writer someday. In prison. Ha, 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 ha.